Hello and welcome about to this biology lesson about injuries, especially sports injuries. Uh, sporting is healthy, but you don't have to overdo it because um, you got a chance of getting injured. Uh, for example, in the Netherlands, football, sport number one, also cause of injury in sports, number one. Um, compare that to swimming. Swimming has a very low risk of sports injuries. Um, in the last slide of this presentation, we will see why. After you have sport, you've been sporting and you've been running for a while and you haven't done that for a while, you get sore muscles, your muscle ache, a muscle ache, uh, that is not an injury. It's quite common. Um, when you use something, if you haven't used muscles that you haven't used uh, for a long time. Um, yeah, they, they have to be trained. Um, also, overdoing something can cause a muscle to strain. So if you want to live like 500 kilograms, which you shouldn't, um, you can strain a muscle or even you can, you can, you can have a rupture. So then the muscle is torn. Strain muscle most most of the time recover by rest. Injured bones. Can you injure your bone? Yes, you can injure bones. Uh, that we call a fracture. Those are broken bones. Uh, very common in cyclists when they fall. They want to stretch out their hands to catch to break their fall, but then they break the collarbone. And you can see you can see that right there, the broken collarbone. In football, the fibula um, mostly due to unsportmanlike behaviour. Injuries of joints, for example, the runner's knee in football, in Dutch we call the football knee, uh, the cartilage inside the knee, the, the, the meniscus is damaged, you can see that inside the blue ring. Here it is complete and here it is torn. This one this part may come loose, it has to be taken out surgically. Sometimes also the, the ligaments in the knee can be torn. Other injury, injuries, uh, sprains, when you sprain your ankle, you stretch the ligaments, or even worse, when you uh, tear them, uh, then you end up in a plastic cast for a couple of weeks, and uh, that might take a while. Dislocation. We can see that the ball of the joint is, is no longer in the socket. Also here, probably um, stretched or even torn ligaments. Um, this has to be popped in again by uh, or general practitioner, Harjart, or you have to do uh, surgery and then probably you have to rest for a while as well. You can't use it immediately. A tennis elbow. You do have stressing muscles in the forearm and same repetitive movement over and over again, over again. And then the tendons that attach the muscles in the forearm to your um, upper arm, uh, we get an inflammation there. That is, that is painful because it's overused. Um, the golfer's arm uh, could be compared, but that is on the inside of the elbow. So a tennis elbow is on the outside and a golfer's elbow is on the inside. Then repetitive strain injury. If you put too much strain on the same muscles, same uh, ligaments, same um, tendons, etc., they they can get um, wary. Uh, for example, the mouse elbow. Uh, a couple of things that you can do is good posture and set a time limit. Uh, not just the mouse elbow, that is what we say all the time, but uh, playing a game on your phone can also have uh, those results.
we already said that in football, um, most injuries here in the Netherlands, um, reason number one, uh, rough play. Sadly, not everybody plays by the rules. Uh, also, the second one, poor training and inadequate t techniques or lack of fitness. You haven't trained for a while and start sporting. You can strain a muscle or you can tear a muscle. And um, number five is very important. Insufficient warming up and or cooling down and stretching and the rest, bad weather condition, cold, rain, etc. Um, too quickly after an injury and poor equipment, old equipment, bad equipment and um, yeah, if you your shoes are old or too small, you can you can injure your foot. Um, how to not to get sports injuries? Very important one. This one is warming up, stretching, cooling down. Okay, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and see you some other time. Bye.